databases. The whole reason for having a database is to catalog information into several fields. In Moodle, there is a database feature. What would you use a database for? Well, here's what I started to use it for. If you have a team-based activity, let's say you have two people per team, and they're all working on a common goal with one file upload. I found this to be very fun because let's say for example this. I have I always keep going to this stupid thing. <laughs> let's say I have um, two people working on this document right here. Okay? As a team they do it. Now, how do I know who worked on their teams? Well, I could write all that stuff down, but yeah, it's the 21st century, man. I'm not going to have them write it down. I'm going to have them import it into a database. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Right here, I'm going to insert database. And you can call this per assignment if you wanted to. Let's say this is assign meant one group activity upload your There we go. Upload your project here. Use the add entry button at the top. Fill in all info. And sometimes you have to be very, very, very specific. Okay, it all depends how rookie your students are at this. Now, uh, basically I'm just going to leave everything else alone and hit save. Assignment 1, group activity. So now, let's go in to this database, and we're going to make some fields. The first field is going to be a file, because I want them to upload the document when done. So, that way they know it's a doc. Okay. Then, what I'm going to do is add two more, maybe two text fields. Now another one. And maybe a date, too, would be nice. There we go. So what will happen here is it will now make a template for this. Okay, so I got upload here, document, da, 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 da. Now, let's pretend, let's do devil's advocate stuff here. And we'll pretend that there is a student three now. Okay, so let's go to fields and add a student three. In my templates, look what happened. Student 3 is not in the grand scheme of things. He's down here. So what you could do is reset template and it will suit put him into the the actual cells. And you could switch these around. Let's say I didn't want this one here. I could control C that. I could put it right here. Control V it and I can move this one down if I wanted to. So how you organize these control X is to cut 
case you want to take it that route. Control X, Control V, and then Control X, Control V. There we go. So now I have that template. Okay, so now what does the student see? The student sees in Sandbox that they have an assignment activity and they're going to see a lot less buttons than this. Now I know not to add anything to the database in preview mode. Very important that you do not add an entry when you're in preview mode by the way. So here's what the student sees. So I'm going to go back to instructor mode. If you add something in student mode, um, let's just say you won't be able to log in for a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is upload my document. I'm done. I'm one of the students. Okay, I can name the file something else if I wanted to. Student name, I'll put mine. And I'll put somebody like uh, Joe Macklin. All right, and today's date. And you can see that in here we have some template work to do. I'll show you that. So for right now, I'll put George's name there. Okay, it looks good here. I got my document and the three people that worked on it and today's date. Oh, ain't that cool. So let's just look at the fields, the templates for a second. Under add template, you'll see something. It says here, student's name. So let's reset that template. And again, let's fix this. So plan ahead, I'm saying. Plan very far ahead when you're making these. Usually I, I follow the same ones all the time, you know, student one, two, three. And I'll know how many is on a team right away. Okay, so when they go to add entry, now I'll see what they see. All right, so does the student see all the files? Yes, all the students in the class actually see the files. So they can all share files if you wanted to. And that's this is a good place to even share files with your students. There we go. So to grade something like this, what I usually do here is set up something like this. Offline activity. And I'll put how many points it's going to be. And I'll disable this. And save. Here I'll just put something here. And then I will hide this from the users. Okay. So now I get the grade. I get the assignment one group activity. I might want to label this the same. But when I'm done, I can quickly go in here and grade the assignments for the student. Since I don't have any students in here, I can't grade anything. All right, so that is using the database to your advantage within Moodle. On to the next video.